We're a month into the new school year for colleges, and Abilene universities are feeling the impact of COVID-19. Fewer incoming students stepping onto campuses. KTAB's Jessica Rank has a look at the numbers and long term. I think the hardest part was just leaving my family. Each year we see the same worries from incoming students, studying and maintaining a schedule. But for Salma Valdez and other freshmen like her, I kind of felt hesitant because San Antonio was such a hot spot. This year came with a few extra concerns. Coming to Abilene and like, would we bring the cases up or not? And it's not just ACU students. I think there's a lot of uncertainty in our community and our society right now. And I think that's probably panned out in terms of how students are engaging in their college decision and their college career. McMurray University says that their enrollment numbers are down about 6%. Some freshmen, but most transfer students. I think just with the uncertainty, students aren't as inclined to make a transfer or make a transition in their college career and are more focused on kind of the immediate concerns that they have. And across town, Abilene Christian University in the same boat. Our freshman number is down from where we would have liked it to be. But if you look at the numbers overall, it's always refreshing to be able to share good news. ACU is actually reporting a record enrollment with just over 5,200 students. And so the pandemic and more people, how does that actually Mix. We have invested heavily in the resources to allow our students to study online and learn online, especially in the undergraduate space. So we were already in the process before COVID hit of planning to roll out 15 new undergraduate online programs targeted at adult, non-traditional students. And for the freshmen that are here, very encouraging. Well, they're just excited to start their college experience. The vice president for enrollment at McMurray says he expects to see declines in enrollment for the next couple of years as people try to come back from the pandemic. Ann Harden Simmons is reporting a total enrollment of just over 2,100 compared to around 2,300 a year ago. New undergraduate students dropped by 54 from 581 to 527 this year. HSU says the graduate programs are about the same.